I don't have some fancy intro music this week, so I'm just gonna go. And thank you all for joining me today. It's uh, I don't know. I can never remember what day it is. It's June 5th, I think, as I go to my watch. Yeah, Sunday, June 5th. It's uh, week 13 of um, marathon training for Chicago Marathon. But the first official kickoff week uh, just was today. I just came back from the run. Um, I had the group run with the, uh, I'm going to give them the quick shout out here, the Chicago Endurance Sports people. They gave me this nice singlet to wear, so um, I'll be uh, wearing it. I'm sure as we go through the summer training um, hot months, this is through um, Immerman Angels. Like I said, they gave us entry into the Chicago Endurance Sports training program. It's the first time I'm going to be doing it with them, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully uh, it goes well. My goal, again, for everyone is I'm going to try to... Sh do the Chicago Marathon in October, if I can, in four hours or less. Uh, my best time so far has been four hours and 20 minutes. I've done that a couple times. I did it in Orlando, Florida, and in New York City. Both times I didn't really have a great um, day for the run, and I wasn't really quite as prepared as I'd like to be. So, you know, hopefully if all goes well, uh, if success is preparation and luck, uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit of both this time, and, you know, we'll just see how it goes. I had a good training week this week. I'm kind of over that cold that I had, if you remember. Uh, it was, you know, just a cough. I still have it a little bit now and then, but it's been much, much better. Uh, I ran actually five times this week, which is unusual for me. I don't usually run that many days, but it wasn't a lot of volume. I did a few five mile runs on Tuesday and Thursday because those were kind of my normal training runs. I go short intervals with long rest periods in between on Tuesday. On Thursday was one longer period of a little over five miles, uh, continuous as fast as I could. On Wednesday, the day in between was national or actually global running day apparently, so I ran one mile in honor of global running day. On that day, I also swam and I biked. Uh, I also did a nice long swim on uh, Memorial Day this past week, so that was good to do some cross training because I am going to be doing my first Olympic triathlon in just a couple more weeks. So, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. And then yesterday I ran just under two miles in my neighborhood. We have a little 3K race. That's just a neighborhood race. It's a fundraiser for my kids' school. It's a fun one. I did that one a little bit low, longer than I did last year. It was about a minute slower, but still, you know, pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. And then today I did an eight-mile training run with the Chicago Endurance Sports Group, and uh, it was fun. It was good to go with other people. I probably ran a little faster than I should have. I'll probably step back uh, to a lower pace group just so I don't go as fast every week. Um, I was able to do it. It wasn't a big deal, but it'd probably be better for me if I ran a little slower in training. Um, that was about it. And if you guys have any questions about how my training is going, if you have any questions about training, you know, please feel free. Drop me a line, leave a comment, uh, hit me on Twitter or something like that, and uh, or Facebook, Instagram, whatever. It'd be great to have a question or two now and then because I think it'd be interesting. <clears throat> fundraising. Well, fundraising didn't go as well this week. We didn't get any donations. That's okay. There's going to be weeks that are going to be like that. I'm hoping that maybe this week we can get a few in. And maybe it's time I kickstarted another little campaign. So I was thinking about this. I'm going to go ahead and start the What Moves You campaign. Um, music is sometimes a motivating thing. I haven't been running with music very much lately because I like to keep it and save it for when I really need it on those runs where a little bit of extra will help. So what I think I'll do is I'll maybe put out a list of some of the songs that really motivate me and maybe what you could do in return is think about what songs motivate you. There might be some things I haven't heard of. Maybe they might be really good for me this year because I'll probably run some music at some point or another to you know give myself a little extra boost from time to time. But what I'm going to do is, for everyone that donates, everyone that's already donated will already be in this contest. And I think for the next, again, let's go with 10 people. So the next 10 people that donate, uh, whatever amount, you know, $5, $10, more, less, whatever you can afford, whatever you'd like to contribute to Airman Angels, it's a great organization. Like I said, they do one-on-one -on -one cancer support. People that are recently diagnosed with cancer, they match them up with a demographic very similar to theirs. Uh, and try to help them along the process. It's a great organization. So the next pen, 10 people that donate um, will put in another random drawing and you'll win, let's say, a $10 gift card to either the iTunes uh, Music Store or uh, Google Play. I think those are the two most popular ways to buy music these days. Or if you'd like just a $10 Amazon gift card, we could do that too because uh, you can buy music through Amazon. 
Um, so let's see how that goes. I'm kind of hopeful that it'll spur some people on and maybe we'll get a little more donations this week because we could use some, you know. Uh, it's a great organization. So it'd be nice to kind of, you know, move that needle a little bit and get a little a little closer to the goal. If we get there, great. If we don't, that's okay too. But let's, let's see what we can do. Uh, the video has just gone over the five minute mark. I like to keep them short. So that's it for this week. If you like the video, please hit like on YouTube if you're watching it there. If you really liked it, hit subscribe. Let me know you're out there watching every week. It'd be nice to know. And um, that's about it. So I appreciate all you guys' time looking on me once a week. And uh, apparently we are 18 weeks away from the marathon. So buckle up. It's going to be a fun ride. Talk to you soon. Bye.